Hey guys, Harley here, Cycling Harley. Just wanted to give you an update on the road bike to gravel bike transformation. Um, we've got uh, just some differences in the geometry, um, which weren't I wasn't aware of um, prior to today. So just wanted to give you an update on what's happening with that. So using the checkpoint and the Amonda, um, when I first thought about doing this, um, I sort of went, oh, they're, they're pretty much similar. Um, they should be right. We'll just flip the parts over and um, you know, we'll have a gravel bike. It's a lot more difficult than that, um, as anyone who knows about gravel bike is probably already knows. But um, just wanted to let you know, I am still gonna go ahead with the project, but I'm only gonna run this gravel bike on really light gravel uh, or light off-road. Um, just to give myself a taste of what's gonna happen, you know, what, what gravel riding's like, just to get off normal roads for a bit um, with slightly chunkier tires, a different gearing setup and, and, and see how we go. And then if I get the bug, um, I'll reconvert the bike back to its Amonda road bike setup, um, probably sell it and buy a um, dedicated gravel bike. So here, I just wanted to go through the differences in geometry, um, which make a big difference for gravel, um, I've been told. Okay guys, well you can see I've got the Trek website up here. I've got the Amonda SL6 on the left-hand side. Um, you can see it's highlighted up on the left. On the right-hand side page, we've got the uh, Checkpoint SL6. So just wanted to show you a few of the things that have um, yeah, been brought to light to me today. Um, the first one I've noticed, which is a big difference, is this K number, which is the distance between the front and rear hub. Uh, so down here, I'm on a 52 centimeter bike. So on my Trekker Monda, it's 97.7 centimeters. Over here on the uh, checkpoint at a 52, it's 103. 0.3 centimeters so the, the bike's longer on the checkpoint and that's uh, pretty much across the board the geometry they are they are longer and that's for better handling on rougher terrain uh, I'm told so that's that's a big one the also, also another one that I wanted to show you is the uh, this H number which is the length of the chainstay from the rear hub to the bottom bracket and that's center to center um, so H is chainstay length on the left hand side here you can see 41 centimeters for a 52 Amonda and on a 52 um, checkpoint it's 43.5 so it's a bit longer again and what was brought to my attention is that your where the from the from the rear cassette and everything it's a bit further away from your back foot um, now that must have something to do with I don't know whether it's comfort or just um, you know things not hitting it or what have you, but that was something that was um, I was told is is a factor for um, you know for gravel. So they're two of the first things that I saw. There's also this angle, uh, which is another big one. This J, if you can see on the left and the right, um, this J, which is the angle of fork um, to the ground. Um, so J here, if we go on the left from the Amonda, uh, which they call the trail, is 5.8 centimeters. And then on the checkpoint, J, the trail is 7.1 centimeters. So effectively, it's it's longer and it's pushed out more from um, you know from from the the top of the of the fork. Uh, so the angle is 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 greater. Um, so they're things which are going to affect handling, um, and that's what's only just come to my attention. So the, the other big one is they're a lot chunkier. They're built for off road. So that was another thing I was told as well. So. This, the little things are starting to add up, um, but look, that's just the geometry for it there. So guys, just to give you a bit of an update on the progress of the parts and what we're doing with the bike. So we, in the last video, part one, uh, got the Pirelli 35s. Um, they do fit, so that's a good start. Uh, the gearing uh, ratios that we're gonna do, so on the front at the moment of the Amonda road bike is a 52 to 39 tooth chainring. 
um, I'm changing the front chain rings to a 50 by 34. Uh, and then on the rear, the cassette that's on there now is a 30 tooth. I'm going to a 34 tooth. And that'll give us, when I'm in the, the, um, the small ring, which is a 34, and the uh, the big ring, on the, well, the biggest ring on the rear cassette, that's a 34. And that'll give me a one to one gearing ratio. And apparently what that's meant to do is a good starting point uh, for for gravel. Um, now, like any different scenario or, or, or track or course or whatever you're on, you may want more gears or, or less gears or what have you, but um, I'm gonna start with that because I've got the parts for it. I've got the front um, chain rings for that. And I'm just waiting on the cassette to come for the 34. So that should arrive this week. It's coming from over east. I've also got to change the cage on the rear derailleur from a short cage, which goes up to a 30 tooth, um, which is what's on the Amanda now, to uh, the long cage, uh, which can you know service that um, 34 tooth cassette that I've got on the back. Uh, so that's that. Then we've also got to do the tubeless setup for uh, the tires. Now I've ordered that Silka. Um, uh, tubeless sealant. I saw this crazy dude putting drill holes into his um, tire and it seemed to seal it. So, um, and I've, I've watched a few of the videos just saying that they think it's pretty good stuff. So I've ordered that um, just because I'm new to tubeless. I thought we'll give it a crack. Um, convert it to tubeless, change the rear cassette, change the rear cage, uh, change the front chain rings um, and convert it to tubeless and away we go. So. If you've got any comments or tips for us, um, I'd really appreciate it because obviously this is, uh, I've been cycling for 18 months or whatever it is, and uh, this is all another brand new learning curve for me. So um, really appreciate any feedback. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you're interested in you know, uh, following it or whatever, um, and subscribe if you haven't. And um, yeah, hopefully you get something out of it um, and we can make a, a gravel bike that uh, actually goes off road. That'll be cool. Cheers.